have to work on that extra point. That's ridiculous. <laughs> okay, Adam. Such a perfectionist. All right, Ridgefield, 63 right now. It feels nice and cool out there. And uh, it, it's such a nice night to go out for a walk because you can also see our almost full moon. It will be officially full on the 22nd, which is a Sunday. Okay, here's a big picture for you. Lots going on here. Let me uh, point out a few things. Uh, water vapor imagery. So we're seeing the dry air here where it looks kind of yellowish or tan. And where you see the bright white shows you where there's more moisture in the atmosphere. So this is our water vapor imagery. Now these lines that you see moving around here, this represents the winds. Winds aloft. What's happening in the atmosphere? What's driving what? What's going where next? Here's our trough of low pressure draped over the west, and here's our big ridge of high pressure, and it's sitting right over the ocean. And if it just moves a little bit to the east, that means the nice temperature time is over for us. And that might happen by the time we get to the middle of next week. You know what? Those winds have been pretty strong across not just the southern part of our state, but across northern California with a red flag warning. They're still dealing with multiple large wildfires and now extensive smoke all the way out to San Francisco Bay. OK, so air quality for us. We are really sitting pretty right here on the west side of the Cascades. No problem. If you're downwind of the fire and dealing with unhealthy air. If you are south or southeast of our wildfires all the way up and down on the eastern slopes and the east side of the Cascades. That's the theme going into the next couple of days. Current temperature for you in Portland is 70. Temperatures overnight will be in the low 60s. Right around 4 or 5 o'clock, we'll see a few more clouds start to kind of filter in with that onshore flow developing by tomorrow morning. Okay, here's your planner for tomorrow. A cloudy start to the day. 10 o'clock, we're still in the clouds. 63 by noon. Now we're starting to see those clouds kind of thin out. 66. 3 o'clock in the afternoon, 74, and by 5, we're at 76. So afternoon is a good VFR day if you're trying to go out and get some flying done. Okay, short-term forecast looks like this. Tomorrow morning, a little bit of drizzle for you along the coast. I don't think you'll see any of that in the valley, though, until we get to Friday. Friday, a chance that we could have some of our foothills experiencing just a little bit of mist or drizzle. Will it be enough to measure? Well, if it sticks around long enough, certainly yes. And we get to Saturday. Saturday, that system eventually departs. But again, it's just hit or miss, a little bit of patchy drizzle here or there. Nothing too extensive and not expecting anything that's really going to wash anything away. So a few hundredths of an inch overall at best as we get to uh, late Thursday and into early Friday for the coast there. Seven day forecast. 77 tomorrow. We're in the mid 70s for the weekend by Monday and Tuesday. Now we're starting to warm up by next Wednesday. Now we're up to 90 degrees. Coin 6 News. We'll be right back.